It's my first day here and it's it's a mess. Really delicious vegan chocolate. I want to show you all the pasarubongs that I got. My fridge that I sorted out a while ago. Cheesy beanos. I'm stuck in this room for at least five days. And so I do have a kitchen back there. One thing to be noted about this hotel, there are no 24 hours. So if you have an emergency in the middle of the night, there's no one to call. Getting fresh vegetables here. I really should be sleeping now. to start. I'm only gonna be here for six days but I do need to put a lot of these food in the fridge. I want to show you all the pasarubongs that I got, the chocolates, and I'll be showing you some of the food that I'll be eating here as well. I read online that the reviews for the food here in Picasso isn't so great. Uh, some of them said it's overpriced or what. Regardless of their judgment, I just wanted to prepare and make sure I had my own food and healthy food and some maybe not so healthy. So check out the lint that I got from the UK. These are actually presents from Eddie, which I'm so happy. And this as well, I'll be enjoying that. Crisps. And I have these pitted dates. Honestly, dates, you can make really delicious vegan chocolate made out of dates and do taste like chocolate 100%. And then these baked beans, uh, what do you call it? Uh, cheesy beanos. So it's something that we've had in Scotland, which I really enjoy actually. But they need to be eaten, they'll be expiring in like two months. And since no one's gonna be home back in Scotland, I decided to just take it here and, and enjoy it here. Same with the basmati as well. This is all the way from Asda. If you love doing the grocery in the UK, you'd know Asda. So I'll be having beans and some rice. I got this over at Eddie's house, so sunflower seeds um, and some oats and dried fruit. Really, really trying to be healthy because obviously I won't get to be moving around. I'm stuck in this room for at least five days. So I try to be healthy. I got this Mediterranean style microwavable grains. And so I do have a kitchen back there. I'll be able to microwave that. Tomorrow I'm going to be requesting for just a lot of things like pans and pots and spatulas because I actually didn't see the sign. It does say here that uh, if you do need any of these, you have to request and call them. So pot pan, uh, knife, chopping board, etc. towel, dishwashing kit. So you have to call. And one thing note, note, one thing to be noted about this hotel, there are no 24 hours. So if you have an emergency in the middle of the night, there's no one to call. You're kind of left alone to your own sanity here. Uh, the last call for anything that you need is around 10.30 p.m. They said 11 p.m. And then after that, you're on your own. Somebody will be reporting at the front desk at, I think, 7 a.m. So it's weird. This is the first and only hotel that I know of that isn't 24 hours. So there's no one to contact. It's very, very strange. And then I have these hot chocolate all the way from the hotel that we stayed in. And that's pretty much it. This is a pasalubong. It's a gift for my dad. It's single malt whiskey. Hope he likes it. I actually don't know it. And... So because I know I won't be getting fresh vegetables here as I really miss the spinach in the UK. I miss the watercress, I miss all the fresh veg. We can't grow spinach, well we can, but it's different. It's not sweet like in the UK and watercress, it, it requires a cool weather. In the Philippines, it's very warm. So it's not, we don't even grow watercress except for this place called Baguio, which is up in the mountains. I have my micronutrients. So this is some, um, yeah, it's superfoods. It's to replace any veg that I won't be able to have. I'll be, it's in powder form, so I'll have that every day. I got some nutritional yeast, but I put it in an oval tea container. And for me, this is the most important, my yoga mat. This is where all the magic will happen. All the endorphins kicking in, I'll be doing yoga and lots and lots of cardio exercises with that mat. And so, having said that, that's pretty much the food that I need to kind of unpack. It's it's my first day here and it's it's a mess. So I, it's close to 1 a.m. and I should really get sleeping soon. But in the UK, it's, um, it's about 
I would say 5 or 6 p.m. So I'm pretty jet lagged. I really should be sleeping now, knowing that it's 1 a.m. But I'm so awake. So I don't know how uh, the UK is eight hours behind from the Philippines. I really have to try and force myself to sleep. I have some apples here that I got from the airport. Banana, so I really am gonna fix all of that. And show you my new kitchen once everything is sorted. It's already looking pretty full as it is. I have a lot of milk that I got as well from, from the hotel. And my fridge that I sorted out a while ago. Whoops, it's so full already. And my egg finally cracked, but here. Not even in the bag, so I'll probably have that. It's a hard-boiled egg. And off to tidying I go. So I found this bottle of wine that I got over at the co-op and this is a gift that I'll be giving to my parents. It's pretty cool. Wine here can get very, very expensive. Probably for this quality, maybe double the cost. So probably 14 pounds. We got this at seven pounds. If you're lucky in the co-op, you'll be able to get this at five pounds. Anyway, wine is a very, very hot commodity for us. We love wine. And these are just a little bit of knickknacks that I got as well. This is from Morrison's. And I can't remember where I got this, but I just really have a lot of sorting to do. And it's a good thing I did bring summer clothes. Honestly, the weather in the UK is really extremely changeable. So I didn't think I would need this, but I, I just brought it. But silly me, it's, I was there, what, like December, January. It's very, very cold there. So I'll be wearing all of this here because we're back in the tropical Philippines. And it's quite a contrast because all I was wearing was layers and layers and layers of jackets in Scotland. Because honestly, it's like, what, minus one, minus two degrees sometimes. So it's time for me to get used to the weather here back again. <laughs> I'm unpacking there's this really nice gift that Eddie got me all the way from Scotland we actually got it off uh, one of these gift shops in Edinburgh and I can't wait to show you the mug it's something that I really really absolutely love so actually you might find it cool as well and... Sort of like a Christmas present that he has for me. And check it out. Look, the detail is absolutely incredible. If you look closely, it is a tour of Scotland. It's got Glasgow City over there. It's got just everything that you'd want to see, really. Edinburgh City, Sir Walter Scott. Um, it's got the Scottish flag over there. It's got Wales, it's got just really nice Loch Ness, Nessie's over there, Oban, where you have a really good distillery. Oh, there's a man in in a kilt doing the log, um, I don't know what sport you call it, like tossing, toss the caber, there you go. So it's so awesome. Oh, the price is there, it's 20 pounds. So the design is just really, really cool. It's so detailed and it's pretty fun to drink, to drink in. However, I don't think that this is uh, microwavable. It says fine bone china, which is quite a good um, expensive material. But if you also look inside, there's the Loch Lomond, Forth uh, and Clyde Canal and the Union Canal. There's even more details inside the mug, salmon, fishing. This is really, really so fun. I can't wait to have some hot tea. Maybe I don't know if I will enjoy hot tea here because it's so hot in Manila. So I might 
I don't even know how to make cold tea because I don't have ice here. But regardless, it's gonna be used. So I really am so happy about my new mug. It's one of the things I was waiting for to open here. I didn't want to use it in Scotland. I wanted to make my quarantine experience a little bit fresher that way. 